Hi, good morning. This is so low. I don't know why I left you so low like that. Okay, that's better. I went to the print shop this morning and they handed me this. I was like, oh no. These are supposed to be opposite. I'm supposed to have 150 of these, 30 of these. So I ended up with more than they gave me a discount, which is kind of nice. I have no idea what's gonna happen this week. Um, if you wanna come, you can. If you don't, you don't have to. You can do whatever you want. You're a grown up, I assume. If you're not a grown up, grow up, okay? Grow up. I'm kinda dressed like Bob Dylan today. I might be appropriating Midwest male culture with this teeny weeny beanie. I made this the other day. And I wanna make another one. Let's go. I went to figure drawing last night. I got this liquid charcoal. And I got it because I thought that I might be able to blend it and erase it after it had dried, but you can't do that. So I'm just kind of wondering why, uh, why you would use it. If you know, let me know. But yeah, those are short poses. Some of the longer poses. Short pose, long pose. Short, long. I like this one. She really does look like that. just like really slow like you can't get things together fast enough that's like my number one stress dream by the way getting ready to go do something and people are waiting for me and I can't get ready fast enough that's how I feel today all day long I just like can't do things fast enough everything feels like it's taking so long like it took so long to pack these orders I'm I don't know this is my package that's going to Coco Dri, which is Colette Bernard's store in Louisiana so I'm excited to finally send this out I'm gonna take this and the rest of the stuff to the post office. Hi. <laughs> so I found these in the recycling and I was like, absolutely not. This one is called You and a Bike in the Road and it's a graphic novel memoir about someone biking across the United States. Oh my God, that, that is so cute. Um, the cover or the title is cut out, but everything else is, is intact. Oh my gosh, so I need, need that. You need this. Okay. And then, <laughs> These are a bunch of um, Audubon magazines from the 80s that were going to be thrown away. Beautiful. Um, they reminded me of your art. And I looked through and these ones have like really cool artist profiles too. Oh my gosh. Of, like, Amazing. Different... The world's smallest zine on earth. About the most important topic. <laughs> yes. Okay, and then this one. This one is bugs and their chosen names. Of course. Made by teens, and so I gave the names, and then the teens drew bugs they thought fit the names. Oh, so that's such a Charlie. Charlie has a cigarette. Kyle. Oh, for sure, that's Kyle. Caroline, um, Devin. Gary, snail, not quite a bug, but that's okay. Abdul, oh. have a watercolor on that. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Yeah. Hi. Today is Thursday. I'm having kind of a chaotic week. I had a doctor's appointment yesterday. I had a cyst in my armpit and they wanted to biopsy it to see if it was anything bad, but it's just a cyst. So I had a minor armpit surgery today and I had coffee with a friend this morning at a Turkish coffee place. I don't know if you've ever had Turkish coffee, but it makes me feel like Tomorrow is the last day to ship things out before it starts getting a little iffy whether things are gonna arrive on time for Christmas. It's partially a little bit stressful because I really need to get all my orders out, but it's also partially really exciting because once I get all those orders out, I'm done packing orders or doing any shop maintenance probably until like February because I'm going on a special exciting trip. So I'm really excited about that. I got my Patreon stickers, these uh, scissors and ribbons that you saw me design in the last vlog. And then I got this art book from David Hockney. I love this painting so much. Somewhat recently, I have been very inspired by his work. So I want to look through this 
Isn't this a weird format for an art book? I thought it was gonna be like normal art book sized, but it's like a, a novel, right? I found these sticky notes in my car. I don't know when I got these, but I have them now. And then I got a cute little package from Hey Hi Danielle is her handle and she sent me these stickers. These are the stickers that she sent me. She sent me this little, like the ribbon and this little loon kite moment. It's very cute. Little tree hugger girl. This one that says, the sun is my friend. Um, you can always send me things if you want to. You don't have to. Here's my P.O. box. I am just going to buckle down and pack the rest of these orders. Just dropped off my last shop orders for the year. Got myself some celebratory grocery store sushi. And I also got misgendered at the self-checkout. This guy was like, sir, sir, there's a lane open. And I was just like, oh. I was just like, who are you talking to? You're talking to me. I'm gonna go lay down now. Hi, um, I'm at home with Nora. Today's Saturday which is the day that I normally go to the studio because Taylor has work today. But I stayed home because I didn't feel good. My armpit hurts and I had fever last night. I normally only just bring this tiny pocket sketchbook home with me because it feels silly to bring like multiple sketchbooks around with you. So I leave my like bigger one at the studio and then take this like pocket moleskin. I use this Pentel brush pen and then just like my little watercolors. Usually when I don't feel good, it's like a sign that I'm starting to feel better if I start feeling like I want to draw, so. The next morning I woke up with a super high fever and a ton of pain in my arm. If you're new around here, I am a cancer survivor and my immune system is pretty damaged from treatments. So when I get an infection like this, it can be really serious. I had to be hospitalized for four days and I was on like a nonstop drip of IV antibiotics. Eventually got discharged the day before Christmas Eve and ended up having to cancel my flight home for Christmas which was a huge bummer. And then I spent basically the next week in bed, occasionally getting up to draw in my sketchbook. The last couple of months have been kind of a busy frantic time leading up to the holidays with all the art markets and shop updates and selling art. It's a huge time of year for doing that, so I felt a lot of pressure to keep working, and I think I worked myself a little bit too hard. When I was in college, I would always get sick right after finals week, and I feel like this was the same thing. It was the day after I submitted my last orders to the post office that I came down with this gnarly infection. I'm not that woo-woo when it comes to my health, but I kind of feel like this was a sign from the universe that I need to take more time to rest and not push myself so hard. It's been a really strange adjustment trying to figure out like 
just how chronically ill I am? Am I able to do the things that my peers are able to do? Or do I need more time and space to prevent things like this from happening? Or is it just random and out of my control? I really don't know. I know there's a lot of other people who have similar struggles, including a lot of people that are subscribed to me on YouTube. And I definitely recognize that I have a lot of privilege. My job allows me to take time off whenever I really need to. But it does come down to me at the end of the day. Like, I am making my schedule. I am also responsible for things when things go wrong. In 2024, I really need to ask for help more and rely on my community, which is something that I'm not that good at doing. I have an amazing supportive partner and a ton of friends who are always willing to help, but I'm not always willing to admit that I need the help or ask for the help in the first place. I really don't know what I would do without my art practice. It really grounds me and connects me to the world and my YouTube channel and sharing my art practice is part of that. The holidays are a lot and I really sincerely hope that you had an okay time navigating the complexities of the last couple of weeks. And for all of us, I am really excited to move into a new season of life in the new year. Two orphans on Christmas. Two orphans. Aww. Good job. Yeah, it can hold up to 400 pounds. This one probably needs to be water too. Oh no. It doesn't quite like get out on it, just kind of like. Precarious angles. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's all right. That's so sketchy. Doesn't, it doesn't go like that. Okay, that looks horrible. That's better than. This is going to slam down on your head one day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just barely. It's, it's just such a part of you. That's really cute. Yeah, it's not done yet. Is that from a real picture? Yeah. She's gonna love that. Yeah. That's so nice of you to have done that. Yeah. Hope your plant's okay. No, it's gonna bounce back. Hi. Is this shot so crooked? 5 p.m. on Thursday, December 29th. I really don't know what this vlog is gonna be. Before I start filming, I think about what I wanna capture, but this was just kind of random of everything that reflects my mental state. This real life baby, real life as a chronically ill artist. Did I make any art or film it? I really don't think so. I did finish my sketchbook though. I finished the sketchbook while I was home being sick and being a loaf which is nice. I always feel very reflective at the end of the year about like what I accomplished and what I might want to accomplish in the next year. I feel like right now I have been just surviving. <laughs> Missing my family Christmas was kind of upsetting. I had to cancel a big trip that I had been planning, so I had to grieve all of that and it hasn't left a lot of space for forward thinking and I think that's something I want to implement in 2024 a little bit more is some future planning. I feel like the job part takes over and the art part doesn't get done as much. What I really want to do is lock off time during the week that's just art making time. I don't really know what that's going to look like yet. I need to do some more journaling about it. I think I'm going to end the video. <laughs> I don't know. I need to post something and so that's a thing too that I have to deal with as an artist. This is turning into a whole thing. Anyway, I'm gonna go buy a new sketchbook. I will talk to you later and I'll see you in the next video. I really hope you had a good 2023. If you didn't, I hope the next year is better and I'll see you in the new year. Okay, bye.